What's up everybody, this is Jared Fox with Fox Outdoor Sports. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of fly tying for you today. Uh, I've come up with a little bit of a pattern for a worm fly that I, I think looks pretty good. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. One is a little more costly because you got to buy a specific deal for it. And then the other one, you get this here roll of yarn from Walmart for seven bucks and there's I think 200 yards of it. There's a lot of it. it makes a lot of flies. So this is going to be for bass flies. Uh, I'm going to do a little bass and pan fish flies for you over the course of the winter. It's too cold to fish and too cold for me to be out fishing anyways. So we'll get after it and I'll show you how to do this fly. It doesn't have a name. It's just a uh, little dragon tail worm fly. You get the dragon tail from Orvis. A few other places sell them. But all it is is a uh, dragon tail, some cross cut rabbit strips, which are a dime a dozen, a little bit of lead eyes, a little bit of mono weed guard, and that's it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So we'll show you guys what to do here. I use the Gamagatsu B10S, the Stinger. Uh, this is size 2, but if you want these bigger, you can certainly tie them bigger. I just, I prefer a little bit smaller hook. So that's what I go with. Clamp it down good. About two eye lengths behind the eye. Start your thread wraps. And just make a little bit of a wrap. You don't need a ton of space. Clip it or break it off. And then you tie in your lead eyes. Pretty much however you do it is going to be fine and dandy. I do it this way. Just with your regular old figure eight wraps take a few over top take a few over the top and then I take just a small dab of super glue just the tiniest of drops right there on the top and then I take two more wraps over top that way, two more wraps over top that way. And what that does is it really seals that that uh, uh, the threads up top to lock them in. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to tie in our weed guard. And I use uh, 50 pound monofilament for that. It's thick enough that it holds up well in the weeds, and it's thin enough that it's pretty pliable still. Tie pretty much all of my bass flies with a weed guard, except for stripping flies, like uh, big zonkers. Um, a lot of people tie game changers and stuff like that. I'm not going to use a weed guard on anything that I'm swimming through the water column. You want to take this wrap kind of down into the bend of the hook. Come back up to the top. Make sure you tie that down real, real good there. Then what I like to do is I like to run the guard through the bottom of the vise and then come back up the top through the eye of the hook. And what that lets you do it lets you size up your weed guard and really test it and see how it's going to work. So you give it a little bend right there. And then clip that off. Now it's already sized and you've clipped it off so it's out of the way. You know, your vise here holds it down too. Then you take your dragon tail 
This is the micro dragon tail. They make a, or this is the mini dragon tail, excuse me. And I'm also going to use the micro dragon tails for these. Um, they're really good, really, really good. Um, another deal you can use, you can use a rabbit strip. So if you want it a little shorter or longer, you can make it shorter or longer depending on what your preference is. I'm not going to use this because I am a little more partial to the next one that I'm going to show you. Um, but the dragon tail, I got these for Christmas and I kind of wanted to showcase how they are and the fact that they do look super, super good when they're in the water. Come back to about the barb and the hook. And I'm going to, I want this fly to be pretty fat basically right off the bat. So I'm going to clip off just a little bit of this dragon tail. So now I can start it right behind the eyes and it's fat right about there. Another little tip for you, these dragon tails are just chenille. Just really, really shaped chenille. So what you want to do, you just want to take it and you just want to melt the end of it just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then to keep it all held together back here, after a few fish it'll start to kind of fray out on you for getting whipped around a lot. So you burn the tips and it melts it everything together and it'll keep everything held in place. You just line it up, put that point right up behind the eye. Capture it with the thread. Position it how you want. And then you wrap back to just past the barb of the hook. And you wrap back forward. Really make sure everything is bound down. It's kind of messy, but it'll get cleaned up here in just a second. Next, what you want to do, you take your crosscut rabbit strip, just like so. And you strip off just a few fibers. Just a few from the top of this strip and then clip it just so. Clip it just so that you got a little point and then tie it in just in front of that dragon tail. Move your thread up behind the eyes there then take it and make touching wraps all the way forward. Okay, looks like that's all we're gonna get off of this one. Capture that just with one or two thread wraps and then come in and clip it off. Pull your fibers back and really just cinch that down. I use a pretty stout thread for this fly. Trim off your little excess fibers there. You don't really want those sticking out. Just like so. Bring your thread up to the front. Build you a little base. Bring your weed guard around three wraps to capture it and then reposition it and then simultaneously build the head and capture that weed guard
Okay. Next, what you're going to do is going to whip finish. Three or four turns on a whip finish. Clip it off. Then you can either use head cement, head cement or you can use super glue. I'm pretty partial to super glue. Uh, it's just what I've always used. A lot of people really like head cement, but this works for my applications of it. Take it and flip it. Put a little on the bottom. Just a little bit. If you get some in the eye, you can use that monofilament that you clipped off from when you were making your weed guard. And you can just poke it right down through there. Clear that out. No problem. You just let that dry. And that's it. It's Dragon Tail Worm Fly. Real quick, I'm going to show you another way to do this fly using that Bernat's thread. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, finished the fly to the point where I'm ready to add the tail. Now to add the tail, clip you off the section of that Bernat's that's about, I guess this is about a foot long, maybe just a little more. But what you're going to end up doing is doubling it over. You're going to twist it and double it over. So when it's all said and done, this tail is only going to be about six inches long, which is maybe just a little more than the dragon tail, but it's not going to be nearly as thick. And it's not going to have much of a taper to it. So what you do, it's chenille. So you take those first few threads and you tease them out. And then use a pin trap to capture them onto the hook and then you wrap it back really bind this down really bind it down you don't want it coming loose and then you're going to twist it the trick here is to find which way it's twisted looks like it's going to we're going to need to turn it to the right and you want to just twist, 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 twist. Get it really, really twisted up. Because what we're going to do is we're going to let it spring. It's going to get sprung and it's going to furl. And it's going to be twisted back on itself. It'll look really good. Okay. What we'll do is we'll check it. By lining it up there. Looks like we need to twist some more. It's a little more takes a little longer to do, but I think it's worth it because you can tie however many of these you want pretty much for the price of $7.49 at Walmart rather than tying, I think that pack came with six in it. Okay, check it this time. That looks much better. Capture it and bind it down. And it's just a hair shorter than the dragon tail. It's about an inch shorter than the dragon tail. So again, this is one that you can just play with the sizes that you want, figure out exactly what you're going to need and what you're going to want. And then take another crosscut rabbit strip. We're going to go ahead and finish this fly up, and uh, we'll cut back to you when it's done. All right, that's the whole fly. Just twist it till you think it's done, and then twist it a little more and uh, let it furl up on itself and tie it down and that's it 
Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. This is Fox Outdoor Sports. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be good.